Here we have our field map of the Platina Valley. Um, within this you can see the Platina lead uh, as it travels north out of the company freehold. This area uh, being highlighted is in fact uh, unmined without workings and is believed to contain uh, platinum. Um, a drill hole successfully put into this lead um, roughly 900 metres north of the uh, last known workings on the lead. As you travel south um, you can trace down the lead as we come down. This has worked for about two and a half kilometres. Um, the company has an auger traverse program to delineate gravels highlighted in green. Each of the dots there represent um, an auger hole location that's planned. In fact uh, we are doing more holes than originally planned as we uh, begin to unravel uh, what the system is in terms of the deep lead itself, the tributaries and of course the gravel system uh, which is multi-layered through, through this whole area. Um, just for orientation, the pit one area is located here. Um, the plant location uh, is also here. So um, what we've learned in the pit one location with the gravels um, is the basis for us to do a wider survey on the company freehold. So this is roughly two kilometers in length and 450 uh, meters in width. Um, the program is part completed and there's uh, lots of information of use uh, that we are uh, achieving out of the program. Um, we're moving further and further up the old valley. The, the mining stopped about 300 meters, 400 meters behind us and the lead continues, so the old valley continues. Um, it will ha definitely have platinum in it and that could be very good news for us. It could also have tributaries coming in from the side that are bringing in the majority of the platinum. Now, we're exploring for those because they'd be worth finding in their own right plus they're a path back to the very best of the bedrock platinum. So as the workings went north along the lead they stopped the lead continued uh, there's every indication that we've gone past and the old guys have missed a very important platinum tributary coming in uh, it's a great thing to find we've been searching for those tributaries uh, with some degree of success so um, the concept of the platina valley having high grade tributaries has two pluses one we'd like the tributary itself Mine it, and other work. and the other thing from that, of course, is that you get a, a pointer back to the very good bedrock source area that the tributary is coming from. into the Latina lead and uh, we're testing this one to see whether it's a strong platinum bearing one. In the old workings you just see the little collapsed shaft areas um, where we've put a drain for the water supply. You can see a shaft just over here that the drainer has cut off. Yeah, they are the shafts that go down into the gravel. Uh, in the auger drilling we actually hit this 
tributary, um, just a little bit further up there at six and a half metres, uh, with very coarse gravel in it, uh, raining off the top of the bedrock. So it's a genuine tributary feeding into the Cedar Valley, and uh, if it is high in platinum, then of course that is a, is a target of the day, right? It's also a pointer to bedrock mineralisation. Well, this is uh, a little experiment we've done. The, the auger hole's got, gone directly in here. We're on an auger line. The auger said a particularly good gravel between 0.8 of a metre and 4 metres. So we've just come in here with, a, with the backhoe and we can't get that down to 4 metres but we're having a look at the gravel to just correlate between the hole and what we can actually see in the trench. And the gravel's come up looking absolutely excellent. So. So far, uh, we're right on track. We don't know how much platinum's in that, but as far as quality of the gravel goes, uh, we certainly have quality here, which is the workings basically coming up here. Extending across this way, on the shelf, it's coming, coming out here, so I've got 1.8, 2.1 where we're standing. Yeah. So I'm looking for that tributary. So um, that's what only a bedrock or bit like, yeah. which is drilling wise is short the cheese compared to the gravel. Mm -hmm. There's my gravel material. Um, so 1.1 to 2.1 is only a small veneer of gravel. Yeah. Um, but that's what has been mined. Yeah. It's, it's been an all grade type yeah. gravel. So if you look across that way you can see the other flags out in front. Um, so I'm taking this line across. That was 2.1 to bedrock, and so far we haven't hit bedrock yet, and we're about 11 metres. So we've actually gone into the tributary because the leads can't be that wide. Mm -hmm. So it's got another channel coming up here. Whether it comes up this way and curves out, or which way it goes. Uh, hardly, really the same. Well, we know we've got bedrock right across here, so it can't go that way. Mm -hmm. It's got to actually turn turn here or come to an end quickly, but that's actually quite deep. Mm. The auger drilling program will continue on the freehold to delineate gravels and tributaries.